Within every cell in the human body, we have DNA, which is the genetic instruction manual for how a person looks and how our body works. We receive these instructions from our biological parents in the form of structures called chromosomes. Each cell in our body contains 46 chromosomes, 23 from each of our parents. These chromosomes are made up of pairs, which we number 1 to 22, and the last pair, which is our sex chromosomes. X and an X in females, and an X and a Y in males. Each of these chromosomes contain lots of different genes. These are the individual instructions for each process or feature in our body. There are thought to be more than 20,000 genes in our 46 chromosomes. Because we have two copies of each of our chromosomes, we also have two copies of each of our genes. One way to think of our chromosomes is as a set of 46 recipe books. We inherit a set of 23 recipe books from each of our biological parents. Each of our recipe books or chromosomes contains lots of different recipes or genes that decide what we look like and how our body functions. Every person is different to the next because each person has a unique set of genes or a unique set of recipes. We call this genetic variation. For example, some people have blue eyes whilst others might have green eyes or brown eyes. The same could be said for hair colour, how tall someone is or even how fast someone runs. Our genes decide many of these features and abilities. Sometimes, however, Changes in our genes can cause problems for how our body functions. This is what we call a genetic condition. For example, a faulty copy of the DMD gene can cause our muscles to weaken and results in a condition you may have heard of called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Often, these changes in our genes are inherited from one or both of our parents, but sometimes they can happen spontaneously when a new person is created. These changes are called sporadic or de novo. Everyone is born with a handful of faulty genes, but more often than not, these don't cause any problems in our body. If you remember, we have two copies of each gene. So if the second copy is working just fine, then the faulty gene doesn't have any effect on our body. This is not always the case though. You will find additional video links on this website explaining some of the ways that gene faults can be inherited from your parents and or passed on to your children.